Shalom, praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles, bishops, holders, and teachers, the great Muslim, and the like minded men who may not be directly part of great Muslim but pushing the same doctrine. Given to Apostle Taha and Dan, Apostle Taha, Gabar, Raka, Ramlab, um, Bishop Sakharan, and all the bishops um, at, at the One West, from their teachers, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, to um, Elijah in the reincarnation, the regeneration, which is who is, who was, who is um, the elder Abu Bivins. Salutations to the elect men, women, and children of Bayaf Dawada who are predestined to be saved in these last days. <coughs> of the house of David, who are predestined to be saved. When um, By Yahweh Shai, when, when he returns, um, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, not Jehovah, not Yahweh. His true name is Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists. Yah, meaning he, our, he exists. Yeah. Um, that's in the last wrong that's paleo hebrew and the true name of, the, of his only begotten son is yahweh shai not jesus um yahweh shai meaning he's salvation he saves he delivers and is come to save deliver his elect when he returns um and that's through faith simple as that yeah um if they don't believe then it's up to them <laughs> you know but if some do not believe um, anyway, um, the, um, today is just a, a few scriptures I put together the other day, um, so I'm going to go into it because we're coming up to the time of temptation, hour of temptation in Revelation 3 and 10. Some of us will be cast into prison, some of us will be beheaded, as the scriptures go into Revelation 20 and that. I will cast some of us into prison, Revelation 2 and 10. Um, you know, um, three and ten, the time of temptation is up on up up up, up on us to come. It's regarding um time of Jacob's trouble, Revelation uh, sorry, Jeremiah thirteen seven, Daniel twelve and one, time like never before. Which will all culminate in a time of um great temptation for those who are not of the elect. They will receive the mark of the beast, which is the microchip, which you can find in Revelation thirteen chapter, sixteenth, seventeenth verse. Because of all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in the right hand, which is the mark is the karagma, causes his poyoyo, karagma, um, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead, so that no one might buy or sell. That's paraphrasing it. So without that mark, eventually, um, you will not be able to um, do any trade or interact in any form of... Um, commercial endeavors in this society that's what's going to happen that is a future prophecy we can see the structure being implemented as we speak um, the cbdc which is a central bank digital currency currency which will be introduced in the coming time shortly after we will no doubt um be um people will no doubt be getting more and more as time goes by which will eventually be made mandatory the mark Karagma, the chip, yeah, they will introduce it as a safe and um, safe product and convenient. You know, we we we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah, Second Corinthians two and eleven. Um, so I'm gonna start. You know, a few scriptures I've written down. Those will it be edifying and uplifting. Ecclesiasticus two, which is also known as the Book of Sirach two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. As I've said, the scripture said, there's going to be a time of temptation. Yeah? And that only the elect of the nation of Israel, the Yashvala, the native from so called um, the tribe of Judah down to Issachar, which is so called Negroes, down to so called Mexicans, Native Americans, you know? And, um, and those scattered elect that, um, that look like the other nations. Because Israel has been scattered throughout the world, so yeah, <clears throat> don't get it twisted. It's not an all-black thing. <laughs> um, so tempt to set thy heart to right, you know, to keep, you know, keep on the right path, keep on the straight path. S T R A I T, the place of difficulty. Keep it right. Keep the heart, the love, the mind straight. 
on the scriptures, on the prophecies, and constantly endure. And that goes into patience and make not haste in time of trouble. So when we see um, things happening, don't be hasty in your actions. If you can at that time, listen to the prophets. For example, when it came to the um, the Jibba Jabba, which is a C19, yeah, the prophets were saying, don't take it, don't take it. And people in their haste, some, you know, in their haste took it. And now people like Jamie Foxx um, 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 <laughs> are reaping the rewards of that, you know. So from, from being ill health in many different ways, strokes, paralyzed, whatever, to even death, yeah, to, to so like, what they call it, to, yeah, to that. So there we go. Be not hasty in time of trouble. Consider, you know. Consider the scriptures first and foremost and learn from them. Yeah? Romans 15 and 4 comes to mind. It was written for our learning. And we'll just quickly get that. Let me get that. Let me come back here one second. Two. I haven't really got any scriptures that has come to mind, so I'm going to remind me Romans 15. Things are written for our. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So let's go to this word patience. Mark G fifty two eighty one. Upamane. Upamane. Steadfastness, constantly, constantly enduring, yeah? You see? Patiently, steadfastly, waiting for, waiting for Yahabash and Yashai to deliver his elect. Yeah, Lord's will be part of that, as the hopeful elect. Yeah, in, in A. In the NT, New Testament, the characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and sufferings. Wow. You know? Um, wow. Cleave unto him and not depart and depart not away. That thou mayst be increased at thy last end. It's all about, you know, being you know, enduring, enduring to the end, because the end is not yet. So these wacky tacky Christians are said they're saved, what are you saved from? We're not at the end yet. Yeah, so <laughs> Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So there's going to be a time if you know if you're not feeling it now, you're going to be struggling. This 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 thing is a struggle. You know you know it's not our Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart. This is not your rest. You know don't seek gold. Don't seek um, riches of this world. Seek the spirit of Yahweh You know. Riches of the heavens, you know. So, you know, this world is temporary. It's going to pass away. And we, we, you know, we look for we look for the heavens. Riches of the heavens, you know, the eternal riches. <clears throat> okay, what have we got next? And we shouldn't like fret and worry about what other people have got. You know, trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's just not. It's not about that. It's not about that. You get that. Seven. Huh. Apart from one, but I'm going to jump down to seven. Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So when we're brought to a lower state, don't be envious that there's people who are prospering because of their wickedness. Yeah? Because, you know, how shall I re you know, rest judgment um, in time? Simple as. Um, <clears throat> Psalms 37 and 7 Rest in the Lord, Yahweh Watch him your side and wait patiently for him Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass Yeah, don't worry about them You know what I'm saying, yeah? Because they will be punished yeah, they think they won't be punished, but they will. 
Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for their punishment will come. There we are, we are Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. They think they're never going to be punished. They will. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Be not like them. Yeah. When we jump down, though a sinner do, an e do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh. Hashem Yahushai, which fear before him. Wow. Wow. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Yeah, wicked of our people as well as the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. Yeah, and that's what we need to do. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yashan, he'll rise up to the prey. Zephaniah 3, 8. Therefore, wait ye up him upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. And this is what's happening right now. Right now, I was going to do a um, video on Iran. Um, um, basically, over the past two days, testing the hypersonic missile. You know, that, that's, that's a form of them gathering the um, Yahweh Mishai, gathering the nations for war. You can see it with, um, between, um, obviously, Ukraine and, and Russia. You, Russia, a, a dam has recently been breached in, in, in Ukraine or Russia. Part of which is part of Russia now, yeah. So I mean, the, the wars are escalating; it's building up. And the Habash Moshe is gathering the nations for war. Yeah, <clears throat> we've got um, China, Taiwan, which is going to kick off at some point. So <laughs> you know, these this, these prophecies are popping off like popcorn. Yeah. Um. So so like yeah. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that fire is going to come. Yeah. That fire is going to be the nukes. Yeah. The nuclear destruction that will come upon the earth. All right. So I'm going to get a few scriptures from here. There are plenty of scriptures going to the nuclear destruction. Um, a really good one is the example of is um second and just sixteenth chapter. Yeah, that's really good. The, the 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 bow that shot from one end of the earth to the other. Yeah. Um Isaiah fifty, Isaiah fifty one. Sorry, Jeremiah fifty forty nine, fifty, fifty one. You know, um, Revelation eighteen, Revelation nineteen as well, when Yahushai returns. Um I, Isaiah thirteen, Isaiah thirty four, you know, it was this um wow. So many scriptures. <laughs> right, Isaiah 24th chapter, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Right, um, Isaiah 54 and 16, I created the smith. Yeah, Isaiah 9 and 5. You know, this, this, this war will be a fire, a fuel of fire. Yeah, so, wow. So many scriptures describe, and then I'm, that's just mentioning a few. You know, uh, I've, I've skipped some as well, so. Joel, for instance, but anyway. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It's a thief, it will come as a thief to those who are not watching, those who are not paying attention, you know, putting off that day. So lucky for that. Put her. Lucky for that. Um which the scriptures go into just here. There we are. There we are. Because they say, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For well, since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They think it's never going to happen. They think this place is going to abide forever, and it's not. Because Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right? 
We continue, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the the heavens shall pass away with a great, no great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, especially Babylon the Great. That's going to be burnt up, and it's going to be as a monument, as an altar. Yeah, to all the blood that is shed there, which is America. America is going to be completely destroyed. Which is Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, Nineveh, and many other names, Sodom and Egypt. Seeing that they, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and all the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is what's coming to this place, specifically Babylon, the Great America, and the land of Israel and other nations. The whole Earth will not be destroyed, though. You can read that in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. I think it's around about the fourth verse. Yeah. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, we lay up our treasures in heaven. Fuck this place. F this place. Yeah. We've got to abide. You know, we've got to be patient. But it will be burnt as an oven. I'm going to get that. Um, Talking about Malachi, Malachi, or for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Esau, Edom reminds me of Obadiah, one eighteen, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. That's Esau Eden being turned up. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of the of righteousness as Yahweh shall arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. The elect will be placed back in the land, and the um two thirds and, and the, the, the remainder of Israel will be brought back through the elect. Um, when when the kingdom of heaven is established, when New Jerusalem comes down, so if that Lord's will it was edifying. Um, I know I was all scriptures all over the place, but Lord's will it was edifying. Um, you find it uplifting that we just have to be patient um, and long suffer and, and suffer. You know that's what that's what we're for. Simple as, yeah. It's not our rest. Micah two and ten. Arise ye in the pot. This is not your rest. With that Lord's will, I'm going to say to the elect, Shalom from the hopeful elect, Shalom.